at six, we're learning new information about the allegations against a woman and her ex-boyfriend charged with sexually abusing the woman's daughter. An arrest report tells the story of a young victim who told investigators she often didn't know what was happening to her, but finally ended up telling her father. News piece Sergio Avila is live at Agassiz College Prep Academy here in town. Sergio, this woman we're talking about was a special education teacher at that school. And Jim, she was fired shortly after the allegations of sexual ab abuse surfaced. In a statement, the school here did say that they acted promptly and appropriately at all times. And from what we've heard from parents, she was very, very well liked here at the school. But right now, just parents and students alike talking about these uh, allegations. We were all kind of floored because she was nice. Um, she got along with most of the kids really well. Um, we never had anything that we heard negative about her ever up until that point. Antonio so, Holliday um, is talking about the point surprising. they heard 41 year old special needs teacher Shannon Giardino was arrested and charged with sexual assault involving a child. The child, one of Giardino's own family members. That's the most hurtful and harmful part. In an arrest report, the victim states the abuse started in quote the fourth grade and lasted until she was in eighth grade end quote. She finally told her father during a camping trip. Officers arrested both Giardino and her ex-boyfriend, 38-year-old Jose Adrian Garcia. Garcia is charged with one count of sexual assault and four counts of lewdness with a child under 14. Before the victim told her family, the report shows she tried stopping the abuse by, quote, yelling at Shannon about her and Jose molesting her, and Shannon would tell her to be quiet, end quote. This father says it's almost unbelievable, especially since Giardino was a special education teacher. Definitely, definitely the ones that you would think that have the most compassion, as you say, and focus for kids that have special needs or anything like that. A second family member living with Giardino was also interviewed by police. That person did not report or witness any abuse. And Giardino and Garcia now have to answer to those charges. They are both expected to be back in the courtroom next month. Reporting live, Sergio Avila, News 3, back to you in the studio. Okay, Sergio, thank you for walking us through that. Very